Well, May is National Women's Health Month, and it's all about bringing awareness to the importance of taking your health seriously and staying on top of all health-related issues. This morning, we have emergency medicine physician at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center and clinical professor of emergency medicine at UCLA, Dr. Angelique Campin. Good morning to you, doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. You know, what would you say is the biggest way women can stay on top of their health? Because oftentimes women are the caregivers of mm -hmm. the family and they put their needs last. That's so true. And I will say there's probably two things that can help you. Number one is prevention. It's much easier to stay healthy and prevent the problem than to try to treat it once it's set in. So having a healthy lifestyle, doing your preventative testing and identifying issues early on. Number two, I would say is to stay organized because oftentimes women are the, the caregivers of the whole household, but they need to stay on top of themselves as well. One easy way I do it is I do all my healthcare maintenance around my birthday month. Mm. So when it's your birthday, that should be your reminder time to get your mammogram, your pap smear, your colonoscopy, visit your primary care doctor. Yeah, that's really a good point. Do it all at once on a date you can remember. Exactly. Dr. Campin, we also want to ask you, you know, what are the biggest health related issues you've seen in women? Uh, what have they been facing in the last few years, especially in light of the pandemic? Well, what I am seeing um, is an is an increase in the number of cardiovascular disease for women. So that's heart attacks and strokes. And this is something that's also very uh, preventable, having a healthy lifestyle, a healthy weight, um, eating smart and moving your body, simply walking 30 minutes a day, either in the morning or in the evening will help keep you healthy. It seems like every woman is always saying they're on a diet. Mm. That is not the way to keep a healthy lifestyle. Don't deprive your body. Eat a healthy diet and move your body. Absolutely, that is key. But you know, so many of us, it's go, go, go. You got to get the kids here, get your husband off there. And as we were talking about earlier, your needs kind of fall to the wayside just because you're so busy. Uh, prevention, obviously a huge key as you were talking about, but you know, a lot of these diseases are so preventable if we just take the time and maybe stay away from WebMD and, and say, <laughs> oh, we'll be fine, or it's just this. It's really, like you said, getting those key checks that you need. Exactly. And to use science, I mean, we have made so many breakthroughs in medicine. You can see a geneticist and have your DNA analyzed to see what you're most at risk of developing. And if you have certain gene markers, they may increase the amount of surveillance. So the rather than getting mammograms, you may get breast MRIs if you're at higher risk, things like that. So talk to your doctor about the latest technology in medicine. All right, so much good information. Dr. Angela Kempen, we always appreciate you and your insight. Thank you for joining us this morning. You're welcome. And right now, let's